Hi there and welcome back to Death Knights of Kryn. I am Baron and we are in the Dragon Pit. Fighting lots of undead dragon. Let's turn around the corner here. Um, area. Okay, we're still good. And now we're here. The dragon you released lies in a smoking pile. The scent of ozone is strong in the air. The cave ends in an open mouth, but the air seems to shimmer. You can climb down the slope, do you? No. You wisely step back from the magical ward. Okay, so we didn't really save the dragon. But it served as a reminder for us to not walk in there. Let's walk in here. Scattered little warriors are here grooming nightmares. They turn and attack. At least, you know, they uh, attend to their horses. They tend to their horses, that's nice. Nightmares and two skeletal warriors. Oh, that's a whole bunch of nightmares and uh, more skeletal warriors. Okay. What do you cast? Uh, delayed blast firewall. Although there's nothing delayed about the blast. Um, let's see. One, two, three. Well, the question is how do I reach them all? Probably don't. Doesn't matter though. Boom! Oh, you should not save. Well, let's see. You stand here, you stand here, that means you move. Uh, let's see, uh, one is here, one is here, and the other one should be here then. You got. I don't really know whether this is a good idea. Try and stay here and guard. So there are a few more nightmares here. We could still give them a delayed blast fireball for good measure. One, two, three. That should be okay. What else do we have? Oh, a few of those. That's not really much. And uh, yeah, well, okay, we can deal with that. So you move up here and um, guard. Oh, missed. Okay, back to the flail. Um, but nice. Oh, blinded. Can you cast the cure blindness? Do I, I'm not really sure whether you have to stand next to him. But if you have to stand next to him to... Oh, for fuck's sake!
But even blind, you're still hit. <laughs> I guess it's a nightmare so large, you just have to wave your uh, weapon in the right direction and then you will hit it eventually. See, even Kobit High does damage. Good night. That's it. Thank you. No treasure though. We encamp and we fix. And we save and move on. What's in here? You have entered a deteriorated barracks filled with skeletal warriors. I thought we already did that. Oh, for fuck's sake. Whites. You delay. Hmm. Turn. Nothing happens. Sylvia, did get turned, okay. Yeah, I think this pit, um, you know, sort of hampers the ability of a cleric to turn on that, but since Freckle, no, Sylvia is a, I think, level 11 cleric of Magir, so that counts as a level 13 cleric. Yeah, she still manages to do it. We don't need you right now. We lots of damage. You can do better than that, Sylvia. Thank you. And the last one with a whooping 14 hit points. Good night. 2377 experience points. Yay. Um, how about we encamp and fix? And uh, move on. Nothing else in here. Okay, so the skeleton warriors and their horses are officially dead now. Let's go in here. Well, oh, what do we have here? You come upon Sir Carl, he snarls. So, the moths approach the flame. I am busy, lest I would slay you now. Flee and live until Takesis returns to the world. He leaves through the north through the north door. Yeah, that whole busy thing is quite a cheap excuse, I don't believe it. 
Sir Carl pauses at the corner. Since you seek death so avidly, so be it. Wolf, dispose of this carrion. He rounds the corner. The evil beast's form is before you once again. I have warned you of the foolishness of your quest. Now Soth has asked that I make his view more clear. His muscles ripple beneath the fetid flesh. Well, muscles and flesh, isn't it the same? What do we have? Oh, white and skeletal warriors and the dread wolf. We turn. Oh, that didn't work as well as I hoped it would. Nothing happens here. Fine, we help with the delayed blast fireball. Fireball for everyone. And it's free. Use it. Even if they make their save, they go down. Oh, even the skeleton warriors get hurt. That's nice. Oh, at least one got hurt. Oh well. How about we just guard and let them come to us? Well, they probably save against anything I can throw against them, so let's not waste our spells here. You guard. And a fun time will be had by all, right? You guard. We could try and hit someone. AC minus six. Um, AC minus six. Can I magic missile you? I will try that. Ah, fuck it. Um, no, I can't magic missile you. You're dead. So, let's slay the one in the middle first. We could try to hit him, although with the AC of minus six, let's not bother. Because if we slay the one in the middle, the Dread Wolf is still too large <laughs> to fit through. Oh, great. Oh, uh, yeah. You could try to hit him. No. Good night. Now we slay the one on the right. Yay! First damage on the Dread Wolf. Good night. Uh, no, you actually. Oh, you can take him. Ooh, fuck. Okay. How are you holding up, girl? You're still good. Although you could... No, you're still good. No, I will not cut it close. I will heal you. No. Okay. No. Exit. Good. Apparently I don't get to choose who I'm about to heal now. So, fine. We do that later. The Dread Wolf is not a skeleton. Missed. You can't really do anything. No, you will not heal the Dread Wolf, you will heal Sylvia. Good 
Good night. Very well. Wow. Four attacks per round. You're not kidding around, my friend. Well, you could try to hit him with our uh, two handed sword. It is a large creature. Oh, missed. Missed. For fuck's sake! We cast a heal. Next, cast it. Thanks. And uh, manually on yourself. Better. Should have casted a prayer and a bless before I actually um, started that battle. Oh, finally. Oh, five hit points. Ooh, that was close, but the deed is done. We get 3,573 experience points, yeah. Take my advice, buff before this battle, it's better. And we gain more experience. The dread wolf lies at your feet. It moans, my death will aid you little. Takesis will return me when she walks upon Kryn. The light fades from its eyes. And Durfee gains a level. Awesome. We encamp and fix. And uh, yeah, there were. Ooh, actually, a lot of people gain levels. Sarah White, Durfee, Zulia Saint, Randy Spears, and Kobe Tai. Nice. Magic. Nothing for you. Yeah, you get your heal back. Nothing for you. You get that back. You get them back. You get them back. And we rest. Yeah, we're to device buff before fighting the dread wolf. As you can see, it can be done without buffing, but it is painful. You don't have to do it. Six adventuring three. Oh, that's a new one. Up. That's easy. Moving on. 
Uh, where are we? Area wise, okay. Oh well. Let's see. You come out into a courtyard open to the overcast sky. Fallen masonry makes the area ripe for ambush. Maya alights before you and transforms to her elven shape. Be wary. Through the opposite entrance lies the sleeping death dragon. Have you seen Sir Karl? Yes. Before you can answer, Sir Karl steps forward, dragon lands in hand. Lovely, lovely sweet Maya, it is time to join me in this everlasting twilight. Maya twists around and returns to her dragon form. Oh. Sir Karl thrusts the lance deeply into her side. Maya staggers and cries out in agony. Then her powerful wings begin to beat and she lifts off with Sir Karl still holding the abandoned lance. As the pair disappears into the clouds, a roar issues from the fore entrance. The death dragon is awake and rushes at you. Fine. Is it just one? Oh fuck. Do you see that? One AC minus 11, 120 hit points. That's no fun at all. You Casts. I should have buffed probably before that battle. 17. I don't know. Let's try the late boss fireball. Let's see what that does. Fifty-seven. Oh, that's better. I don't really know. You move up here and guard. Oui. Fine. You want it like that. You get it like that. Missed. Come on, three hit points. Good night. Well, that was not so difficult. One thousand two hundred eighty-five experience points. No treasure, though. Silence descends as you look over the remnants of the battle. Suddenly, with a crash of thunder, the Dragonlance crashes to earth. No sign of the two combatants can be seen. And this time we have found treasure. We take the footman's dragon lance. Yes, finally. That actually is the dragon lance we had um, in Champions of Kryn. And it took us 14, 15 videos to get it back. Great. Okay, and that's it. Congratulations, the party gains more experience. We fix. And uh, let's take a look. 1d10 plus 14 with the two handed sword. 1d8 plus 16 with the dragon lance. But Taiko goes down to 2. Yeah, so I think it's better. We have the dragon lance again. Awesome. Exit. Um, let's take a look at the area. Uh, that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to take a look at the area. Okay. Here was the lair of the death dragon. Treasure lies scattered about. 38,340 experience points. Woohoo, that's a lot. And treasure. What do we get? Items. Plate mail, leather armor, short bow. And... Um, 
100 jewelry, 100 gems and 10,000 overloaded. 5,000. No, well, screw it. You take 2,000 overloaded already. 1,000. You take 1,000. And you take 1,000. Let's see. Six, nine, nine, six. We're still good. Let's go. Area. Okay. You find a coiled rope bridge next to a deep chasm. With a few throws, you connect it to the other side. Do you cross? Yes. And now we're actually here where we started the whole thing. That means we can leave this area. You're about to leave the cave. Do you continue? Yes. An obelisk stands here, inscribed. For Maya and Sir Karl Gardsen, the war is over. Oh yeah, for Maya and Sir Karl Gardsen, the war is over. They have found the peace that was denied them for so long. The symbol of Paladine is carved below. Beyond a distant ridge, you note a streak of silver and one of gold rise into the clouds. Oh, that's the end we saw of um, Karl and Sir Karl and Maya. <sighs> okay, so I'll tell you what I will do now. We, I will end this video here and return to Gargoth Outpost and train the characters and identify the items and then we will see each other in the next video. So... Oh, really? I will do that off screen. So, thank you very much for watching and see you soon. Bye!